I'm not too sure because it's showing it's on here, Von Stink. Ah, uh, you do something about this one too. Who's the stinkiest of them all? You. <laughs> That's not true, is it? Yes, it's true. Um, I actually, I'm wondering if you did pause something there. What's going on? Um. No, let's have a look. I'm in the, the YouTube studio. All right, let's get started, Von Stink. And create a poll there. You ready for that? Yeah. Um, why does this thing not show? You have this to kind of refresh it. it. I don't know how to refresh on that. I got it. Okay. Uh, do you like watching... Can I just say sci-fi? Are people going to know what that means? They should know. I think I heard right back. She's there. Oh, hang on. So what I heard, not me? Not me. Okay. I haven't said hello to right back yet. Hello, right back. I'm in. I'm in. What are you doing? <laughs> Playing with the cat when you're supposed to be... Uh, playing with the game. There yet, don't be. The the so first thirty daddy, seconds, daddy. stinky, most important. Yeah, that's why I play with the cat. It's the most important. No, she's it is. lowest priority. No. Eh? Say hello to the cat. Meow. She said that to me. Meow. Okay. I don't even know how to do this. So. Uh, all right, so there's the poll. Got that up. Oh, Mitch is there and Awesome Pug's there. Uh, if either of you know how to play this game, it looks really complicated. So any help would be much appreciated. Oh my God, why you have to I... get this type of game? Can you get Sim 4? No. <laughs> oh yeah, I think you can it's get. it's become free now. I'm not sure. Is it? Well, I think I might have gotten that somewhere. We'll have to have a look. Sim is pretty really easy game. But I did and put going for hours. <laughs> I did put out in the uh, Discord if uh, anyone wanted to join us. I think this is also multiplayer because there was something about a friends list there. Uh, what is this game? I'm guessing a Star Trek game. Yes, and Awesome says he has no idea how to play it. So, yeah, we've been... Um, Great. I... Put up. Always pick something so halfway. <laughs> My goodness. So you can just... See, if I pick it myself like last time, it's not too bad. That's true. Every but time you... you do it, it's so devastating. You weren't here to, to help me pick. Don't give me that. You are the one who said, I'm going to surprise you every time. That's right. You need a surprise. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, hang on. I've got to do the shout outs. So, uh, yeah, we'll be relying on the, the live chat a little bit today just because old Uncle Poodot's not in the greatest of moods. He's been been struggling a little bit lately. Um, and the stuff that I kind of want to talk about might not be what other people want to hear. So uh, to that note, feel free to chat about anything, but we will start with the, the old science fiction uh -huh. uh, do you like watching those those movies, Stinky, or TV shows? I do like, but they don't really make it interesting these days. Like they use, I watch many of them. Everything that start with the star, Star Wars, Star Trek, Star whatever, Stargate. Yeah, that's right. You do, don't you? But um, yeah, it's not. And then there was. Dune, but that one, I watched the old one, which is really long and boring. Right. Um, I watched others too. Life, this is more recent one, but still. The plot is kind of the same. Aliens, Predator, Predator vs. Alien. It's kind of get to the point where I don't feel very exciting anymore. So I stopped. But yeah, in the past, I actually liked sci-fi movies. Right. 
I still can look at what I'm doing. <coughs> so you got to go back, return the game just to start it. There you go, oh. you're in. I'm a female science officer. Damn Titan. talk with them. I did! How do you refresh on a tablet? Back, 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 back. Just go back to your main page and go to the things again. Yeah, I did do that, but nothing shown. Or you scroll up, down, something. You bring it to me if you really want to. I might have to. And yeah. Uh, Oh, hang on, I've got to get the uh, soundtrack going as well. Oh, Slaughter's there too. Good to see you again. Uh, just hang on, I'll get to the live chat in a sec. Um, I've just got to get the, the soundtrack going. Oh, computer, you run so slow these days. Eh. Pull that. Thank you. Uh, just leave it there for the moment. Why? Now who I have to speak to? Hello? Pink? Oh, Vulcan? No, I don't think he's Vulcan. Uh, Red December's there too. What's up, says oh. Slaughter. So, um, we're going to do kind of a mixture today. I'm uh, going to break a rule for our own channel and actually say, look, Feel free to talk about your own channels as well and maybe some problems that you've been having because I can see Awesome there said, you know how I said I'll make you a screenshot? Oh, what? Give you a couple of choices. So, yeah, we'd appreciate that. And also, I replied to your previous comment, uh, Awesome. Just let me know which uh, video or live stream or whatever it is that you wanted me to look at for Halo. And I can give you a suggestion because we do tend to take screenshots as a, a background for our thumbnails. And Red December also had left a couple of private messages on Discord relating to her channel as well. So I'm happy to talk about that today because this is how I started the stream saying I'm uh, struggling a little bit at the moment and getting very frustrated so I don't want that to come across in the stream so much huh. right so stinky then why you keep talking about it? um just because I think it's kind of important not just for us but for anyone that that uh, watches or creates content uh, online so just give me a sec stinky I'll put the microphone over here Look at this wheel. So I'll put that there, I've just got to set up one last thing and then I'll be here, all right? Hey, can you put on aircon? You're feeling it already. It's cold today for spring. It is kind of chilly for spring. Mm. All right, so keep chatting away there, Stink. I'll be back in a second. <sighs> okay, what's this your species? Hello, green lady, hello. They should put some more hair on them, you know? Doesn't mean you got pink or green skin and you can't have hairs, right? Um, uh, ding, 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 ding. Where is Sylvia? Dun, 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 dun. Who are you? Security officer, blah. Probably we have to get in here. He just went on the journey to check. What's what outside? Haha! -ha. Hello? Are you Sylvia? Are you? Personal officer. Nope. Where is Sylvia? Rrr. Hey, who are you? Security officer? Oh, look at this. This is kind of remind me of aliens. Not the flower so much. Can I get in here? Tuk, 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 tuk. Probably not. Are you Sylvia? Can you tell me where the Sylvia? Tilly, whoever I have to speak to. Are you Sylvia? Hello? Hello? Let me in. Oh, what? I can get in? Like that? 
I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. Boom. Okay. Hey, dude, where is Sylvia? Uh, stand up action, blah blah blah. Um, why is it weird? They're not gonna have any marks on it, so I know who um should talk to. They should. It's pretty big. Academy here. Come on. Uh, Oh, we've got even more of the DLD showing up. Oh, you're not going to be using the headphones? You're not. Uh, not. No? Mm. All right. Uh, let me... Oh. Where I put it in? Baseball. There's no one here, so I guess this is not the right way to go. Can you go faster? Can you run faster? Rush! Rush. All right, so I'll just get through the live chat here. So it looks like the sub count has increased by 10 since last week. That's not bad in terms of growth at that rate. We're only one year away from 10K at the highest, likely a few months though. So can I address, this is where I said I, I'm trying not to be too negative about the whole YouTube experience, but <coughs> this is something that, that uh, as I said, Red December brought up as well How when she was chatting uh, in the DMs. So thank you for noticing, first of all, Mitch, much appreciated. That's, uh, to be honest though, it's slow growth for us. And it's been like that for a little while now. And I know I've changed uh, how I do things a bit, which probably has affected that. that, that, that uh, but that, I just that, can't, that, that, that. I don't have the time to do what I, I did before. So um, hopefully things will change. On that note, just as a little surprise for you guys, we've been sitting on some videos that I mentioned uh, quite a while ago. I'm just gonna upload them because at this point, we don't have too much to lose. So, uh, hopefully you won't find it too spammy if we've got um, at least a couple of videos a week. That's not going to last for very long though because we didn't make many of them. Uh, so that's the first thing. Yes, it's good to see Slaughter back. Uh, you know, I'll make... Uh, I've read that one already. Uh, what's up? Happy weekend. Yes, it, it's a good weekend this time around despite it being a bit cold. Uh, Kane's there says hello to everyone. Uh, Spartan, oh, okay, so they're the ones. Actually, awesome, if you can put that in Discord for me as well, just so that I don't uh, get get it lost in the chat, um, because I won't be able to see it again until the, the video processes. Uh, I've streamed for a few hours total today and yesterday. It was a lot of fun, didn't really get any new followers, but it made me realise I like streaming again. Well, that's good, as long as you're doing something that you enjoy. And I think that's maybe the biggest key for longevity because I have seen uh, a lot of my uh, favorite channels have basically seen their views drop and they've kind of given up or they're uploading really infrequently. So if you do what you enjoy, that's great. Uh, and it, I guess it doesn't really matter if you're not getting the views or the followers from it. So, for example, uh, we uploaded a short recently that is it's probably the worst performing short we've had, which is a shame because um, I didn't put a lot of effort into the video itself, but we did put a lot of effort into the music. Uh, and I'm hoping that, uh, I don't know, maybe later on down the track it might pick up a bit, but I'm going to continue to do it because that's the thing that I enjoy the most. Uh, the creative process of that is very enjoyable. So, um, I don't like that song. Yeah, you didn't really, and that's the other thing. Normally, I will get Stink Pants to approve everything before I upload it. 
so he can blame me for it. Yes. I know he can. Ha ha ha. I can't blame you for that one. And you did kind of say you didn't like this part or that part, which I did try to fix. Um, but yeah, I just had to get it uploaded and you weren't home, so I just did it anyway. So Red saying that she's got the negative view count, or negative count, so um, there is a way around that, Red. I don't, I mean, I recommend it if you want to pick up subs, but they're not going to be quality subs. And that's why I stopped doing it. So, for example, if anyone does want to grow their channel, you can always hit up our comment section and go and check the channels of people that comment on our videos. Now, it's not great for the recent ones. We've got very, very low engagements because I'm not doing that anymore. Um, we really or i only support the the people that leave genuine comments or people that come to the live streams um you know that's our core audience and i'm happy to help them out if they're just leaving generic template comments yeah you'll get a sub out of it but you won't get any watch time or you know you, you will get the engagements though so maybe that helps uh so that would be the advice that i'd give you uh if you are going to go down that path I would suggest um, what perhaps sorting our videos from most popular uh, because they're going to have higher engagements. You're going to see a lot more comments there, and that will fix your problem, Red December. But as I said, don't expect uh, anything quality coming from that. Uh, but it is a way to grow your channel. Mm. I did that for two or three years. Uh, it is very time-consuming though, so just be aware of that. All right, so one thing I would recommend is uh, channel growth is shorts, lots of shorts. Uh, they don't have to be super high quality. They just have to keep viewers' attention and should be something you want to do. Watch over and over again, such as uh, complicated jokes. That's a really good suggestion, Mitch. So we were actually talking about this a little bit before the stream, and this is just a personal... Uh, I am starting to just go talking about the things that I wanted to talk about. So I hope you, you are all okay with that. And this applies to both viewers as well as content creators. The first one, the shorts, um, I'm personally not a fan of, but we are doing it because we know that's what YouTube wants. Why am I not a fan of it? I have mentioned it before that... Wow. I don't like the idea of, of trying to really shorten people's attention spans. And that's from a, a human perspective, not forget about entertainment and uh, social media and all of that jazz. You think about when you were at school or at university, there's a reason why classes are generally speaking between what, 45 minutes and less than an hour before you take a break. Isn't that the standard? Like your class is something around the 55 minute mark and then you get a five minute break or something like that. There's science behind that. Your attention span is difficult to maintain for hours. And we notice that because we do live streams, people come and go, but do they really stick around for the whole stream? And some do, like we know Red and Mitch and our DLGs certainly do but other people sort of fly in and then disappear. So that's the first thing. The second thing I will say, um, when it comes to TikTok, it's almost like a necessary evil. YouTube does need an actual competitor, someone that is beating them, which is what TikTok is doing. They're, they're beating YouTube at the moment. And it needs to be a wake up call for YouTube to say, hey, you actually have to take care of your smaller creators and individual creators more because that's what YouTube, uh, TikTok does. So I don't, I still don't recommend downloading the app or anything, which is almost counterintuitive to what I'm saying. Uh, but that's more related to your privacy than anything else. Um, you know, you've got to be wary of how much information you're sharing. So that's the next one. So I agree with Mitch. We will definitely keep doing uh, shorts. And I know that one of the more successful formats is to make them really, really short, which we don't do. We tend to have them just under a minute, which is 
about the maximum amount of time that you can have for these. And in particular, because I'm trying to do this music thing as well, uh, you know, a well, one minute song is very short to begin with. So hopefully we can get better at creating uh, that style of song. Uh, in the long term, we will be producing more of our own sort of normal music, but that takes a long time. It does take quite uh, a while to not just make the song, but the video as well. What so, is that green thing in the map? I can't reach it. What green thing? In the map. No, 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 that's just search by the look of it. Isn't that But like it disappears sometimes. Oh, does it? Hmm, so I don't know what's that. And I can't just go because it's always at the corner. Uh-huh. And I can't find a Sylvia Tilly. How do I know where she is? There are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired. I'm sitting. Sylvia, you come to me. <laughs> Great gameplay there, Stinky. Uh. I don't really watch TikTok. I never, it never interested me. Every time I see it on somebody else's phone, I just find it uh, way too goofy and, and silly. So uh, I would say that Awesome Pug's got a pretty mature mind because I feel the, the same way. I've only ever seen TikTok videos on YouTube, so neither Stinky or I have the app. Um, yeah, so we don't know a lot about it. I'm getting most of my information from YouTube channels that watch TikTok. It's sort of a way to get around it. Um, hang on, I might make a magnifying glass for this one. Ah. May I suggest a looping music short, like 10 seconds of music, where you can't tell where the loop is, and challenge people to say when the loop is in the comments. Very high your attention rates and lots of comments. That's another great idea. Mitch is being awesome at the moment. I thank you for that as well. So we might look at doing that too. I mean, the reality is I have seen lots of small channels get a ton of views because they upload really short clips and they do it prolifically. We're still not going to do that. I, I um, yeah. I, Personally, just again, it's a personal perspective, but uh, I either unsubscribe or switch off notifications for channels that upload prolifically because it just basically spams my notifications. Um, and I think the same would probably happen to us if we did that. So I, I agree with what Mitch is saying though. Maybe we can try and do a really short thing with just a loop and see if that garners some attention. Um, because yeah, like I'm at a bit of a loss at the moment that everything that we used to do seemed to work quite well and it's not working as well as it used to. So that's a, it gets frustrating when you see that. And I can even notice again, uh, with the, the live chat, I'm not sure how we can make the, the commentary more entertaining for the live streams as well. Um, because you'll have people stick around, but then I can see that the uh, viewers have dropped already and they go up again, but yeah. So anything that, um, anything that you think can help each other, talk about it now um, so that you can get some good ideas, like Mitch is giving some great ideas at the moment. Um, and awesome, yeah, I kind of agree with that as well. He's saying that it saddens him that the most viewed videos are under 20 seconds long. And I also think that's quite disappointing. We haven't had that yet because none of our shorts have really done as well as the longer form content, uh, despite the fact that I know YouTube's pushing it a lot. Uh, every time I watch either their official videos or watch the YouTube Guru channels, they're all talking about shorts. They've been doing it uh, again and again. So it does feel like we're being pushed in that direction. And quite clearly it, it is because of TikTok. Uh, YouTube has at least recognized that they've got a problem, but I think that the way they're going about the solutions is not really helping the actual creators. 
they're just saying you've got to do this now but they're not really doing anything to push those creators um, I keep all notifications off for YouTube mainly because uh, a young you sub to a few thousand channels Wow uh, yeah that happens a lot as well that you get too many notifications a day and that certainly happened to to me I've uh, reduced the number of subscriptions that I've got just because there's so many notifications uh, I know a channel that gets a hundred dollars every month from the YouTube Shorts Fund Wow uh, that's impressive because I've actually spoken to I might have mentioned this before that there is an Australian channel that um, we did we met a long time ago when they had they only had one or two thousand subscribers and then they did the basically this not I don't want to say that they spam but let's just say prolific 10 second videos um, the videos themselves are quite good so I can see why they have garnered a massive audience and they've gone from that to I think probably half a million subs now uh, with hundreds of millions of views but from what I gather they don't make any money from shorts so I'm impressed that you know someone that does um, may I ask what your target audience is because that can have a massive impact on viewer attention rate and certain things work on some audiences and don't on others are you getting dizzy already really did you want me to take over for a little bit oh uh, only if you want to yeah i can the objective is just to find sylvia tilly you know it's rich there but so you're gonna have to do the commentary thing i can't just stare at the screen for a bit Ah, all right, so I'll run around and try and answer Mitch's question. Our target audience is strange, I think. Um, I mean, you can look at the live chat right now, and ours ranges from, you know, younger people, kids that are still in primary school or high school, uh, to full-blown adults and they watch us for different reasons some people are here for the the gaming aspect uh, other people are here because of the the conversations that we have um, I don't know how to get in that building when it comes to the the analytics it's even weirder because we're popular in countries that don't even speak English or it's definitely not their first language um, so even though uh, America now they never used to be but America now is kind of in our top five uh, but it doesn't we don't get promoted anywhere near as heavily in in uh, Western speaking countries as we do in either Europe or the Asian countries they tend to be our, our main audience, which is, um, yeah, I can't explain it. Well, maybe I can, but uh, it's one of our little secrets that uh, we don't really want to divulge to the, the wider public because we've already got enough competition. Um, Red said her channel is not monetized, but she posts 17 shots a day, YouTube shots funds, it's only for the US, I think. Uh, no, I did not. Oh, wait. That, that person. Stop, stop, stop. What, what, what? Turn, turn. No, not that person. Stay. Yeah, see, see that person. Go. Talk. How do I talk? Uh, press, hold, X. Talk. Where's... Press X again. Hey, there you are. are you Finally. So what do you? Because I don't really pay attention to the games when I'm playing them. That's. I'm very excited. Pretty soon, blah blah blah. What? What am I supposed to do? Press select. Yeah, I guess. I don't know what else you can do. Oh! Oh! Hang on! Whoa! Now what am I supposed to do? I come on this way. I don't way. know. You have to read. You can't just press, press, press. 
you have to know what you have to do. So I don't know. You press too fast. Just keep going to her, I think, I and can't. then ask her again. I can't actually move now. Why? You're in the chat lock, so just press zero. Oh, again, return to, yep. To this dude? Yeah. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactics. Can you, do you want to do this? Seeing as you seem to be, of course. <laughs> no? You're paying more attention than I am, Stinky. Of course. All right, and less attention on the chat. So, uh, because that can have a massive impact on your viewer attention. Well, I can do it, but you've got to, you want me to do it? I can, just give me a break. You just asked me to read the screen after I got already dizzy and you blame me for it and didn't read enough. <laughs> yep, I blame you for everything. <laughs> All right, well, I can keep trying. Sorry, Stinky's already got the motion sickness already, so. <coughs> uh, there you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me. Um, seriously, I might not, uh, if it wasn't, I hope. Have you got your assignments yet? No, not yet. Lieutenant T. Silm. Before you do that, do me a favour and talk to Ian. He's not. He's got good news, and he won't settle down. Blah blah blah. I still don't know what's going on. Let's find out what his big news is. Sounds good. Didn't I just speak? Who's Ian? Over there. Oh, over there. I'm following you now. Well, you got the choice, Stinky. Either common. Then you gotta, because there's a lot of live chat going on there. I tried to read and you just say I'm not paying enough. You didn't listen to me in reading. Which one? Cadets, Quan, Pearl, combination of IQ 231, just like me, Stinky. Ah, uh, who believed that? <laughs> hey, hey, Are I'm you even in the hundreds? Um, I don't know. I've never had an IQ test. Anyway, Mitch said it makes your brain go. I want to see cool things. Cool thing is secret and I like secret. Random said hello. Hello, Random. And Red said I just noticed my name is in green front. That's new. Is that new? Whose one's in green? Yeah, green. Oh really? No, it's it's been there for a long time because you're a channel member, um, Red December. So channel members get a different colour to them so that you stand out a bit more. Awesome said, I'm going to say random hello line now. Chipmaster, they outnumber us 3 to 1. Chipmaster, then it's an event fight. I don't get it. I don't understand how you got that so quickly. Got what? The motion sickness. Uh, because I'm moving around fine, the person. Uh, in well, you, uh, if you're in this kind of things, reading stuff is not too bad. And but yeah, when you're in this mode and you have to move around, blah, 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 I'm like, wow. Well, that's why I wanted to know if you wanted to uh, keep playing or not, because all that we're doing at the moment is following her and finding people to talk to. I'll wait out here. Oh, where'd she go? Your mini map shows you. Okay, I can take it over now. You want to take over? Better. There, well, the this dude. is kind of tutorial at the moment, so you just follow whatever it say. So there's a dude straight in front of you, or a lady, it looks like. Lieutenant, I found you before you didn't talk to me. <laughs> I'm going to say random halo lines now. Shipmaster, they outnumber us three to one. Uh, are you using VR? No. So uh, both of us 
do tend to get a bit of motion sickness depending on the, the game. Um, if it moves around quite a bit. I don't know why it's worse for some than others because most of these games you can look up, down, left, right. And uh, as long as she's going straight, she's all right. Ring bell, it says. Uh, where were we? So, I kind of, because I was playing the game, I'd lost my train of thought. We were getting asked a lot of questions. So. Oh, yeah. Hang on. You, I don't know what you were reading. Let me go back a little bit. Um, you may all want a massive thing happening at a certain sub count. Uh, a face reveal being a biggest example of that. It makes viewers think about subscribing and really consider it. Um, it makes your brain go, I want to see a cool thing, two things live and I like secrets. So I can choose the options. Dun, 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 dun. We are planning on doing that and I think uh, Mitch already knows this and probably most of the DLG as well that when we hit that 10k sub mark we'll be playing some pretty much the most requested games. We've been holding off on that uh, just to, to do something special and hopefully get a lot of the DLG being able to play with us at the same time. Um, so that's the first thing. In terms of the face reveal, my goodness, we've even been threatened with that before. Hey, it's... can you tell me what is Advanced Faster Training Program? Advanced Fit? What? Where? Read. I don't see your result for Advanced Phaser Training Program. See, so oh, Advanced Phaser Training Program. What's that? So. I'm guessing that's your ability to use a, it's not a gun, it's a phaser, but it's a simil, similar thing. Ah, uh, okay. Federation is at war with Klingon Does that make sense? Mm. Should need to remind you the Klingons enjoy Phase Phase reveal. Klingon Nympa! <laughs> um, where we never got into this to, to be YouTube famous per se, but I guess that is part and parcel with making money. Um, we got into it to first of all help our clan with Clash of Clans and also to make money and there, there's plenty of examples of channels that can do that without ever doing a face reveal because you know it's it's a bit of a privacy thing um, we also don't we want to be able to walk down the street and not have people say hey I know you from a YouTube channel um, everyone's different in what their goals are for that but for me, or for both of us personally, it's not, it wasn't part of the original plan. Having said that, neither was gaming live streaming. That wasn't part of the original plan. So um, maybe one day when we're really old and we don't care. Um, but for the moment, I don't know. Stinky's a very attractive woman. I don't want her to start getting, getting a fan base or so. What, what am I trying to say? I don't, don't want her taken away from me. Because that had happened, wouldn't it, Stinky? You get a little bit of fame, you're like, what do you stick around here as my arch nemesis for? Uh. You got nothing to say on that front. Mm. And uh, my good looking days are well and truly over, aren't they? I, I didn't I age well. <laughs> Not like a fine wine. Still, how many <clears throat> Uh, sussy art. When Stardust walks down the street, she has some fans that call her name. So there you go, Red. That's one of the things that, you know, I would suggest be careful about it. Um, this is, this is where uh, I'm so sorry that I try to keep things as positive as I can, but I've seen some things this week that um, are very disappointing and kind of scary. So one thing without going into detail, um, I came across a channel that they, they were uploading some terrible videos and they've been on the platform for 10 years. Um, I won't go into detail, but let's just say animals were being harmed and leave it at that. And that sort of stuff really shouldn't be online 
but the reason I'm bringing it up is not only were the videos bad, but the comment section was even worse. And I'm utterly convinced now that because of the internet, we're starting to get exposed to what the human population is really like, because it would have been hidden in the older days when I grew up, you wouldn't have seen it so much. There's probably a lot more disturbed people out there than you would think. And that can, that can bleed into the most innocuous channels out there. People that don't, don't get into drama, they don't have fights with people, they don't do anything bad online, and yet they'll still attract people that might stalk them or, or um, you know, do the old doxing thing. It's a very real and problematic thing that happens. So if you are doing that, like I know Red December certainly films outside and has her face on camera. Uh, just be careful. Try not to, to divulge too much information. And that goes in particular to our younger audience. You know, if you've got your own channels as well, be very, very careful about what you're posting online. Um, and I know we've probably revealed too much information over the years just because we're talking. You know, as I said in the previous stream, I don't really think about what I'm saying when we, we do these streams. It just blurts out to try and keep you entertained. So I can't stress that enough. I mean, I've, I've seen situations where people have had to move house. Um, this one channel, they might have deserved it because their behaviour online is really bad as well. Uh, but they had to move countries. They actually had to leave the country that they were in because they were getting harassed that much. So, but again, you know, they were, they were doing things that are going to attract a lot of negative attention. Um, but as you guys know, I mean, that happened to us and we don't attract negative attention, I don't think. We very rarely get bad comments. Um, and when we do, I usually reply to them as long as they haven't uh, used a swear word or anything like that. Those ones tend to stay um, in the, the... I can't even remember what it's called in YouTube Studio, but there's a section where you need to approve uh, certain comments and I don't approve those. But, you know, we try to, to try and be even-handed when we do things. Isn't it stinky? Well, Lee, you wouldn't know I'm doing all of that work. Mm. You'd think you don't know what I'm doing online. Mm. Just go to the center. Uh, may happen if they see her face. Well, that's true too. So, um, and you know, you don't want to have a life where you're always looking over your shoulder. I mean, that's, that's sort of more in the criminal realm where that uh, should happen. But in this day and age, that's not the case. R2-D2. What have they got? Star Wars stuff here? Oh, look at you. You're in a battle, Stinky. Keep running around like you do so that they can't focus on you. Good work, Stinky. You're dispatching the enemy quite nicely. Um, so, yeah. what are, What's the live chat's thoughts with all of that? Um, because I can see the, the world is heading in a direction that's it's less safe than what it used to be. Uh, I don't think I'm being a doomsday sayer by by saying these things. It, it, to me, it seems very, very evident that that's what's going on. Um, and again, it relates to, you know, don't trust or believe everything that you see online. Um, you've got to do your own research or come up with your own conclusions. Don't just blindly follow what other people say. Uh, because that happens a lot too and you end up having a, a situation where people will start believing certain things or thinking it's okay to act in a certain way when really it's not um, yeah so the world is crazy at the moment yeah so I kind of agree with that too and it, it's not just unique to a particular country. It seems to be happening all over the place. Um, and I don't know what the solution is other than to 
kind of be like we are online and say, look, you don't have to do these things or behave this way. Um, you know, you can you can still be a, a le- even if you're not, you don't feel like you're a leader or someone, this is going into the star sign stuff now, stinky. I'm born under two star signs that suggest that uh, I have those leader characteristics. I don't know if it's true or not. But um, I can say, look at Clash of Clans, led that for eight or nine years. It's a successful mm-hmm. clan now. Uh, I try to lead our small little DLG community as well. Don't know if I'm doing a good job. Mm-hmm. But you don't have to have those qualities to still lead by example, isn't it? Like, you, you're not born under those star signs, and I very much follow uh, a lot of things that you say. And same with other people in my personal life that I really respect. It's like, yeah, if you're saying this or that, I tend to to follow what they say because I think they're good people. That was a compliment to you, by the way, Stinky. Thank you. (laughs) That's all I got out of you, just to thank you. Anyway, I'll make it hard. No pressure. You'll be great. Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to sit back and let me just sit back and relax for a bit here, Stinky. I did not prevent you to do. I pers- Make a toast, blah, eat the toast. So I'm personally on platforms where everyone can see what you post, such as YouTube, try my hardest to not reveal stuff. But I'm just chatting with an online friend. Uh, that I know is my age or trust. Yeah, so that's the the thing that I think uh, particularly for young people that are are posting content or being active on other social media platforms, you might not be aware of what's really going on. And that's not to to say that you're not intelligent or that you're not uh, capable of understanding. It's just an age thing. Um, Your brain hasn't fully developed so you're not going to be aware of everything that's going on but i'm kind of proud of our young dlg audience to me they come across as very mature and very smart for the the age range that i know they're in and uh hopefully they will be the leaders of the the future generations um because you know the 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 young people that seem to really take off Um, And I'm not saying this is a, oh, they're they're good or bad or otherwise, but um, how can I give an example? Can I use the Paul brothers? It was either going to be him or them or I show speed, who is very entertaining, very young though. I think they're 17 or something like that. And um, they build massive audiences that way, but... You know, I'm much more look at how they're behaving rather than anything else. Like, you're being successful because you're being outlandish, not necessarily because you're being a good influence. So, and, uh, you know, I take what I say with a grain of salt because I don't watch any of these people, so I don't really know what they do. It's just the, the snippets that I see other people talking about. So I'll see a few of their... Um, sections of their videos on someone else's channel and it rightly or wrongly gives me a bit of an idea of where they're at so don't take my word for it um yeah i'll leave it at that uh where the i'm pretty open with stuff so yeah and i used to think i was as well very open with stuff um maybe i'm getting a bit more tunnel vision in my old age I don't know it's just so I'll give you an example and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself um, because I think I've talked about this before but when it came to mainstream media in the old days before the internet it was really really filtered so that if you had uh, someone that was known in the public eye I'll use sport stars as an example Sports stars, generally speaking, unless you're playing something like golf, are going to have a very limited lifespan 
uh, as sports stars because you know you get too old you're not going to be the at the top of your game anymore so what do they do once their sporting career is over one of the the main answers to that is they get into the entertainment industry and start being sports commentators or you know the the lucky ones if they want to do movies and television they might be able to become actors that sort of thing well we've had examples in our country where you would have a, a sports star who is so famous because of the, they were such a good player, but their personality was so bad off the field that they couldn't have a career in the public eye after that. And it was a very deliberate thing that mainstream media did because they knew that it's, it's not good to expose the general public to these kind of people and their kind of behaviour. You know, they're supposed to be a good influence. They're supposed to be role models. And this is a very Australian thing as well because uh, sports sports in Australia is huge. You know, we um, you would be surprised at how popular swimmers are in Australia. It's a big, big thing. Um, are you getting it again? Mm. Oh, dear. I can take over. And again, I'm sort of on a on my little rant at the moment, and you getting. Go on the rant. Um, keep going. Just move forward and back. Don't look up and down. You know what I mean. That should help. Because I didn't feel anything when I was doing it. I was just like, oh, you're just moving straight uh, forward and back. Uh, okay, so I'll go back to the chat here. So many people post on social media that it's common now. And yeah, that's true too. So that's the next big thing that when you have that much competition and everyone is vying for a piece of that, uh, celebrity comes much less... In, um, well, I don't want to say influential because that's not true. It becomes uh, more easy to attain on a smaller scale how about that i mean i know plenty of small channels that you know they're not from my country but i know who they are sort of thing that's still celebrity in that sense um i like the idea of halo because it's meant to be a party game with shooter aspects and that has fun weapons to use and vehicles to drive with a cool sci-fi style and storytelling yeah i must admit I've only played the original Halo and I think number two on a really old Xbox that a, a mate of mine had. And it was a lot of fun. Um, it's a pity that it's only available on Xbox because I doubt we're going to get one of those. We barely play the PlayStation. Uh, my favourite underrated feature is four split screen in multiplayer. That'd be awesome too. Uh, so Mitch is saying I show speeds content just comes off as annoying and loud to me he's likely an all right guy in real life just playing a role uh, online as a job kind of like morgues and this is where again I'd say I think our younger audience is very mature because I agree with Mitch I have that same it's just too loud and just um, I find it annoying so for the exact same reasons it's loud and annoying but that doesn't mean his content's not good or whatever. It just appeals to a different audience. Clearly, he's you know he's the um, biggest streamer on YouTube at the moment. So he's doing better than what we are. We we don't uh, appeal to as many people. I'm hoping that will change one day. They stink. Right? That one day there will be a turn of the tide on on uh, YouTube or any other social media where people that are really trying to push the world in a better direction get more attention but the reality is you know often drama and controversy sells no news is uh what is it no new what, what's that adage about uh i can't believe i'm having a mental block here oh all publicity is good publicity you know, so it doesn't matter if you do terrible things, it's going to get you publicity. I suppose that's just something that's always been around as well. Um, can't remember the last time I watched I Show you Speed. So I am curious though, because I would have thought both of you are in the age bracket where, where 
someone like Aisha Speed would be really attractive to watch. Um, I can understand why adults don't feel that way, and particularly older adults. But yeah, just curious on your thoughts as to why. Um, I mean, I know Mitch said uh, just loud and annoying, but what is it about him that you don't find entertaining? Um, just curious to know. So pretty sure Morgs I've heard of, but I don't. I don't know if I've ever seen any of their content. Uh, Smokes and... Oh, okay. Uh, with his mum on his mum's channel uh, when he's being himself not worrying about making max profits. Yeah, and I think being genuine is, is important as well. I mean, that was one of the reasons why we're making today's stream a lot more personal so that you can talk about yourselves as well and we'll talk about ourselves because it does... Hopefully, to newer audience, uh, it, re it reflects that to show that these people are genuine. Um, there's just something I saw on on my YouTube Guru channel that said doing that sort of thing helps a lot. So uh, we're trying to do that as well. Um, what I'm getting at is that since everyone posts online, there may be less stocking of people because it's or uh, stalking. I think you meant. Uh, because it's normalized well I hope you are right about that um, to play devil's advocate the only thing is I've seen time and time again a channel will get into trouble they will attract a, a uh, certain audience that likes that kind of thing but only to harass and they don't give up that's you know they'll just keep they'll keep coming back and they will keep doing things uh to that individual or that particular channel so hopefully that will go down but i think the only way that's going to happen is when there's law reform you know we really need to get to the point where things like uh, doxing and stalking really become illegal in the terms of being able to be reported to the normal police force. Uh, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but for us in particular, um, anything that happens online, it's very rare that the police will get involved. They will actually tell you to contact uh, like the cyber watch uh, organizations which is not really, it, it kind of helps, but it doesn't really help because you're not putting people in jail for that sort of thing. And that's where I think there does need to be a hard stance at some point. Um, I don't think it's going to happen in, in my lifetime, though. Hopefully it'll happen in the younger generation's lifetime, but, you know, law reform takes a long time. You know that, stinky, isn't it? Things don't happen overnight when it comes to law. Um, so, awesome saying that Aisha Speed's kind of died down recently. Really, I didn't know that. I thought he was um, going from strength to strength. I think the main reason we don't like Aisha Speed is mainly, as he said, mature for our age. Not in a pretentious way, I just think it's the truth in this situation. Um, yeah, look, uh, I don't think you're being pretentious saying that because I've found, like, every time I've interacted with the younger DLG, they come across as very mature. They, they always have, and I think that's maybe why we've attracted that kind of audience. Um, Red December the same, like, she's, even though she's an adult, um, I think she's quite wise in the way she looks at things. Um... And even the really old guys, like, we haven't seen him for a while, but our friend from Wales, he's, like, my dad's age, a, a literal baby boomer. But his perception of the world, I think, is, is very mature. And this is where, sorry to go off topic a little bit, but um, because I feel like we're stagnating a bit, I am going to start... Uh, just uploading some random stuff to see if anything hits and sticks. I suspect none of it will. Um, but one thing I have talked about before that um, I will do soon is uh, I would like to record 
interviews with some some older people that uh, that are the baby boomer era because I think if you you hear what they have to say uh, particularly if they're immersed in the online world as well uh, they will give you a perspective that's that's very unique because you know you've got to bear in mind they didn't grow up with TV so their their childhoods are extremely different from the childhoods of today and there's a lot of lessons to be learnt as well um, all right so uh, with upbringing you'll find people who watch people like I show speed may come from families that like sports which are typically loud and very fast and engaging so the children of those families uh, seek that kind of content out that's a great observation uh, where it's so easy easy nowadays louder and more random equals funny yeah and i've seen that as well and i don't get it i i personally don't understand how screaming into a, a microphone is funny but you know there's uh, <laughs> i don't want to keep talking about the, that guy deaf noodles but with his roast battles that's what one of the the comedians was doing just being really really loud and I didn't get it it's like I don't see how that's funny um, but you know humor is very subjective and what one person finds funny isn't necessarily the same for someone else um, and it's like a, one of my best friends is constantly saying to me uh, because I talk to him a lot about YouTube and he says no you're really funny and I don't get it because I don't think I am and most times when we stream, I honestly think Stink Pants is the the funnier one. Aren't you, Stinky? Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you make me laugh. But that, that's your typical type of uh, commentary right there. Um, How can I equip it? Da, 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 da. Can you do the X? Yeah, you want some weapons there, Stink. I thought I did it already. Do you have a um a equip itinerary? my rifle? I did take it, but um not quite understand how you equip it. There is a a help function in this I saw that if you go to I guess options. Like, did you want me to do it? Mm. You do that, and then and then. Oh. And then? And then no and then. Mm. Where Where was the other screen that had... Alright, not that one then. Go out of that. What does this one do? Same thing. Mm. Oh, how do I get out of that? Oh, you've got to go back again. Can you only do it from the main when you're not in the game? I don't know. I'm at a loss there, Stink. Typical! I think the main thing that brings people to your streams is how genuine and connected to the fan base they are. They had someone yelling into the mic, rather it's like chatting with a friend at a coffee shop. So thank you for, for noticing that, Mitch. I mean, this was not, as I said earlier in the stream, we never planned to do this, but it was a suggestion from one of the oldest DLG that really helped. we didn't, haven't seen him for a while. Um, I know, I have noticed that with the exception of Kane, who is now coming of age and being a young adult, um, we've had some really good DLGs that when they hit the 18, 17, 18 mark, they tend to disappear. I mean, I understand it. You, you've got your social life and higher education or entering into the workforce, you've got less time. Um, but these guys were all the same. They're all very good, giving great suggestions. And we kind of just fell into it because we didn't know what to do. And with each stream, we still don't really know what to do. So the easiest thing is to talk to you guys. And it is to try and develop that relationship <coughs> to the point where, you know, the DLG themselves came up with the DLG for life uh saying we we didn't come up with that that was something that they did so we hope that that continues over time because 
uh, surprisingly, you are important to us. We do talk about uh, you throughout the week. You know, it's like uh, if someone's having a hard time or like I said, I've gotten some private DMs from Red December and awesome asking for a bit of advice. I mean, that that gives me in particular a, a good feeling. It's something nice to do. And I get the reverse of that from Mitch. Mitch has offered multiple times to help out with the channel. And I've said, that's great because we do need that. Um, but I've also said, you know, school comes first. Everything else in your life is a higher priority than helping us with our channel. But it will come to the point where we will be asking the DLG, look, you know, there are things that I just don't have time to do anymore. If you can do that, then that will help us. Uh, but only in your, your free time. It's, it's not a priority for you. Um, okay, so I don't get why so many people are doing... I, <laughs> I think I get what you're, you're saying there, Ed. And this is another, I think, important topic that people don't realise. Um, if you start going down that fans path that you're talking about, um, that is an extremely dangerous, slippery slope. Uh, the reason they're doing it is for money. And there are a lot of people out there that are quite happy to do things for fame and fortune. They'll, they'll do anything for that. Now, why I say it's a slippery slope is to play devil's advocate, if you want to produce material that's not the... Oh, gee, how can I use words? Prawn? Can I use the word prawn? And you know what I'm talking about? Huh? I think this is what Red December is getting at about uh, saying she said only ceiling fans. You know what she's getting at. So you can do stuff that's not necessarily uh, adult material, but then you might end up, because people can request stuff and throw money at you, you might end up doing stuff that you didn't think you were going to do. So that's the first thing. The second one is it can have a... Oh, hang on. I'm going to have to do the soundtrack. Oh, oh. Wow. Gee, you're even getting up and getting old and sneaky. Uh, not garage bands. Join security credits. Okay. I did equip it. Come on, play it. Yeah! Andre! Uh, where's, what did I do with the headphone? Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, first of all is that trap. The second much more important, important thing is you don't know how that's oh. going to affect you later on in life. Uh, you know, once it gets out, and I've, I've seen videos on this, people will struggle to get jobs as a result of that if you're for example if you're young and you don't know what you're doing yet and you see other people making money doing that kind of content and you think it's a good thing to do as well and then you want to be a teacher later on in life guaranteed you're not going to be a, if people find out about it you're not going to be able to work as a teacher you know that's just one example I, I wouldn't recommend anyone really do it. Um, should I say? No, I shouldn't say that, should I? Yeah, no, I won't say that one. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so you have to think about the consequences. And this is like a... Years ago, I remember in a live stream, because someone commented on it, where I said, you know, don't... don't take uh, nude selfies and things like that either. Um, that seems to be quite a, a big trend for younger people. And I would say just don't do it because the risks of doing that kind of thing, once it's out there, it's out there. And plus, if you're young, it is illegal. So just don't do it. 
Um, yeah, but you can see that there are... Yeah, I'll use the, the names here. I don't think that's a big deal. There are uh, people out there, for example, there's a Twitch streamer slash YouTuber called Amaranth that has made an absolute killing on that platform. And I don't know how much she reveals, but she doesn't go crazy with it. Um, and if you are got the business mind that you're going to do that anyway, which she was doing on Twitch, then maybe it's a little bit different. But I'd say she's more the exception than the rule. So hopefully that sort of helps younger people to really think about you know, before you start doing that, you know, second guess it. Um, okay, so that was a long one. So I think the thing with your channel uh, being named what it is, is that it's funny, uh, but it's not something you want to talk about to people. It feels a bit embarrassed. Right, so that's right. And I think that's the problem that we've got as well, Mitch, because it was very, very deliberate. We thought long and hard about um, naming the channel the way we did, and you are spot on. We did it because we knew it would stand out, and we knew that uh, most people would find it funny. We get a lot of compliments on the channel name because it does stand out. We do get some negative comments, as well as saying it makes people feel uncomfortable and so on. And maybe that is a problem with us that it isn't, a, you know, you say, oh, I, I like Poodop stink bands. <laughs> Look, I get that. Um, but it was, a, it was seriously, it was a business decision. That's why we've got the artwork that we do and the uh, intro that we paid for uh, in terms of making it look very professional. This was all planned before we even started the channel. You know, so I'm not sure where we can't really rebrand at this point, and I'm not sure that we'd want to. So um, I don't know how to get around that. Like, what do you do to to say it's okay to talk about uh, to your friends about Pudot stink pants? It is a funny name. Um, yeah. So any suggestions there about how we could still keep the name but make it so people are able to talk about it but i get what you're saying mitch it's a fair point to make um all right so i took a screenshot from some months ago and my channel name was black this is new that my name is green oh okay um i don't know if it's because of the setting for you red but ever since you've been a channel member We've always seen it as green. Um, and you're also on one of the last two of the loyalty badges, it looks like, as well. Uh, I'd be glad to help with any videos. Music would likely be my speciality. I've actually been looking to produce some music recently and make some music for the channel would be a dream come true. Well, that'd be awesome too, uh, Mitch. I'll have a... Uh, when you've got time, maybe we can have a bit of a chat or a, even a call on Discord to talk about these things. But again, I have to say, you know, it's probably better if you do that during your school holidays when you don't have anything else uh, of importance on. I'm hesitant to, to sort of get you to do these things while you're still at school and studying. So that's the first one. Um, I'm pretty sure that <laughs> was banned on <laughs> specifically that but i don't think that's stopping people so they did try to do that but that was the main audience and the main creators so when they tried to ban it they reversed that ban in less than 24 hours so there you go um random unrelated thing about halo split screen in halo 3's campaign is the most fun experience i've had who made the art by the way um, so we've got two animators in, three animators in the family, two of them are professional and actually no, you've got to say the third one's professional now as well, but more for artwork and gaming design I guess. So uh, we were lucky that way, we could just approach them straight away and say, um, you know, can you do this for us? We're actually looking for 
I don't know if someone can improve on our logos we're we're actually wanting to improve the artwork a bit and your last trip back home was not successful I can't get them to do the work anymore like it's so hard to, to get them to do anything that yeah we, we might have to look okay. elsewhere to do that I was hoping Spidey 3D would do that but he's kind of given up on his own channel at the moment and not really doing the the animation and artwork that he was doing because I thought you know he's he's trying hard and getting a bit of experience but then he just stopped so that's another thing that we'd be looking uh, to get from the, the people that really want to help with the channel so you've got to I've got to make the distinction there because you know asking someone like Red who's working really hard on her own channel is not really practical it's more that you, you uh, are more interested in in helping our channel grow sort of thing because I know lots of big YouTubers do do that and we're col hopefully cultivating an audience uh, of people that are willing to do that for us as well. Um, I'm open to have a chat about the channel whenever I'm very on top of schoolwork, so don't worry about schoolwork being a problem. I'd suggest making the logos a bit less gross and a little bit less cartoony. I feel that uh, you could make people more willing to check out the channel. So that's a good point as well. Um, it's hard though with the channel name. Like, I get what you're saying and I'm not sh sure how to counteract that. Because how do you do artwork that's related to Pooh Dot and Stink Pants without the, the kind of uh, characters that you see? Now they would probably still be cartoonish though. Because my, my idea for that uh, which I approached the animators about was to make it more three-dimensional and less sort of flat-faced or two-dimensional and neither Stinky or I we both have is it left hemisphere do you know that now or not is right hemisphere of the brain science left hemisphere humanities arts humanities I can't remember. you seem to have a balance of both given your studies now you're doing quite well in science but I think it's fair to say that you and I both had more artistic humanity style brains than science based. Yeah or no? The reason I'm saying I that... I have to defeat Ping on. Shut oh, up. Okay. I won't, won't interrupt you. Um, the reason I'm saying that is like ours is much more related to music than art. We're, neither of us are, are any good at artwork. But uh, it's the music that we both have, I guess, some level of accomplishment. I don't know if you'd say it's good or not, but we just have a better understanding of that sort of thing. Uh, I'll just say a bit more complex and less simple. Yeah, we'll see, that's it. But we don't know how to do it, uh, Mitch. We're, we're just not artists. Like, we don't draw. When, did did you ever draw when you were young, uh, Stinky? Can I ask that or are you too distracted? Too distracting. Yeah. Mm. Um, I have to, to heal people. What's up? What's your problem? I did draw a little bit when I was younger, but I wasn't any good at it. It was more like following uh, art tutorial books. Whereas my sibling is, he's very well balanced. He's got a left and right side brain. His uh, career is all scientifically based, but he's an exceptionally good artist as well. And if he he didn't really continue the music thing, but if he did, I think he would have been uh, more accomplished than me. He's certainly good at playing music. Uh, he might be picking it up now more though, because I know um, he's someone has asked him for some lessons. So maybe he plays more now. I don't know. Yeah, so that's a, another thing that we do need to consider. Um, for the moment, it is more going to be about trying to consistently stream like we've been doing and hopefully making the shorts music videos more quickly. Uh, I already have another three that um, are in, one's in progress and the other two I just kind of know what we're going to do. Um, and then just release a couple of those videos that I said we made a long time ago 
but we just haven't released them. You might find them a bit weird, but I did the work, so you might as well just upload it, isn't it, Stink? Um, a bit more complex. Uh, for whatever reason, I have the image of a raccoon climbing up, cutting Stink Pants' leg while Poodot and Stink Pants trying to get it away. It could be really funny. A <laughs> cool channel profile pic. It captures the image of the channel well while... Uh, while well, keeps that stinky feel going. Yeah, it's not a bad idea too. You just got to find artists to do this sort of thing at this point. So these are all great suggestions. Um, yeah, although I will will clarify by saying this is probably the least important stuff that we've got to focus on. Um, I think I need to focus primarily when it comes to the live streams is how to keep the conversation going and keeping it entertaining not just for the live chat but for people that are watching the replays because that's the vast majority of our audience is the the replays not the actual live uh, views so that's the first thing and I don't really know how to bridge that gap and the fact that um, so, sorry I can't remember whether it was Mitch or Orson that asked who the target audience was because that's very very difficult to accommodate when we know here. that Most our target audience ranges from really young Captain, people you to really to old people but it's kind of hard to bridge that gap you know um so and the things that i personally find Everything. really interesting it's i'm not sure that count. other people do so and the planning i finally finished the tutorial oh I well think. done stinky uh and my captain is dead so i'm now a new captain i guess you're the captain now no um my eyes is a bit tiring i'm gonna go get some to eat yeah what? Stinky, what are you doing there? Did we stop? Because I'm having a great conversation. No, you can keep talking. But be before that, I think if I continue, it's not tutorial anymore. So it's the real gameplay, probably. I'm not sure. I just need to get something in my belly. All right, just bear with Stinky because I don't really want to pick up the gaming at this point. So sorry, it's just a blank screen for, a, well, not blank, but nothing happening. She will be right back. Um, okay, so yes, I would take you up on the offer uh, from both Mitch and his friends if they're willing to do that. Um, and in fact, what we can do, if you keep it sort of based on the current characters like we have, I don't care if you do something new and different, we'll actually put it in the community tab as well to get you a little bit more exposure as well because we did that for Spidey so we'll do that if anyone does fan art I guess it's called uh, let us know send it to me on discord or email or however you do it and um, I will end up putting that in the community tab as well and then um, we, we can sort of discuss further about how we could make changes to the channel itself because that's got to be like PNG images and, and that sort of thing. Uh, awesome reckons yellow and blue should stay as the colours in my opinion. I kind of agree with that too, Awesome, because the colours that we picked were also very deliberate. Uh, everything that we did was pretty deliberate. So yes, the yellow and blue are a really nice colour scheme. Yeah, so that was one of the main reasons why we did that. It wasn't until later that... Um, when one of my friends in real life said, oh, you're ripping off SpongeBob, I sort of didn't notice the connection until uh, they mentioned that. And I think, oh, you might be right with that. But we certainly didn't have SpongeBob in mind when we created the Poodot character. It was actually from a very different perspective. It's the uh, Asian thing, believe it or not, that red and gold are a very popular uh, colors to combine when it comes to Asian culture because uh, it's what is it stinky meant to be good luck and something else prosperity. I didn't listen to you at all why yellow and, and red or gold and red uh, such prominent colors in in 
Asian cultures. Um, Prosperity and good luck? Probably. Why don't you like go? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Everyone likes go, right? Well, because other studies have been done that red, white and blue is also very, very attractive for the human eye. So, you know, there's, there's different, I guess, different cultures are attracted to different colours. But you still got the red aspect, I guess. Red? I don't <coughs> know. It's more Indian and Chinese. Yeah, well, that's it. But there is that Politics thing with the, the tricolour of red, white and blue is also a very powerful red, combination. Red, white and blue? Or two of the three or one of the three. So think Coke. Think Pepsi. But that's Western. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's the different, it's a Western, or, or other, I didn't say Western, but other cultures. Okay. I know if you get the Ang Pao. The... Well, it's bloody the main color. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> uh, well, the, so Allo Jackson Langris, it's interesting to have a billionaire here. Um, that's a very blunt way of telling. They're saying just be quiet and play. So there's two of us here. The player's taking a break at the moment while she's stuffing her face. So get on and play, Stinky. You're being told to by the chat. You only got to do a few more minutes and then we can stop. So uh, these streams aren't really oriented around the gameplay. That's kind of true. Like it's wholly dependent on what Stinky's doing. If she doesn't want to play, then there's no plan. <laughs> what? Well, because it's so hard. I can't do it. I can't play and... This is not that hard yet. ...interact with the live chat. It's I, I admire people that can do that as well as they do. But again, with the setup, it's almost impossible to do it. You've eaten all of that muffin. You're just licking the base of it by now. So? so it's still up, there, meaning. Pick up the... Pick up the controller and go. I'll get you something nice to eat soon. You're not starving. You're not like the cat thinking she's starving all the time. Uh, so there are plenty of good channels if you want intense gameplay. I can recommend if you like. No, hey, don't do that just yet. Huh? That's what I'm saying to you, Stink. Just what? play. Yeah. Uh, it's nice after a while. Real goofy and messed up trend is getting hit in the... My goodness, with harmonica. I shouldn't be laughing at that, but just the thought of it's quite funny. Yeah, poor old gonads would be suffering quite a bit there, Stink. What do you think? Press to increase speed. You can do that too. I don't know where is the destination yet, so hang on. Look, you're flying, stinky. I'm stay still. I'm actually not moving. Oh, you're not moving yet. I'm just There's move little... the where this I one, have to go. This one so in the left corner there. Yeah. So it was pointing at that, saying hold that down. No, hold this one down. Hang on, I need to put it in the right direction. Uh -huh. Look at me finishing your sentence there. It's not going. This is the speed. Okay. That's the speed. That not... already max speed. No, it seems to be going up. Oh no, that's distance. Oh my goodness. I'm sure there's a way to speed it up somehow there, Steve. Command from now on. Scan the Fortuna, which is over there, right in front of you. Uh, oh my goodness, excuse you. Excusing me. You see, uh, no, no, no. I that. just need. To... Shut up. <laughs> I see that. Just let me move stuff. So I was trying to do what, uh, what was his name? Jackson Langris wanted, but I'm just getting, getting backlash from the stinky. Mm -hmm. It would make a loud noise covering the streams and it's just a way to show you how we find other people's pain funny. 
most times. There's a is that that German word Schauden? I better not even say it. I can't pronounce it. Uh. Laughing at other people's misery, which mm-hmm. it's. I can kind of get that, like the the fail army type videos, but again, it's not just not to my taste so much. But yes, I have laughed. I don't don't understand why it's so funny, particularly as a male, uh, to see other males get hit in that region. But I can't help but laugh sometimes. It's happened to me on a couple of occasions in my youth. Once with a cricket ball. <laughs> ever seen a cricket ball or happen to hold one they're, they're very very hard they're harder than a baseball put it that way and uh, yeah it was not fun I uh, had never never fallen like a sack of potatoes so quickly <laughs> putting a harmonica in your mouth too that would be ah, I shouldn't be laughing at it but it is funny let's face it there you go Subjective humour again, Sneaky. You might not laugh at something like that. So we might end up uh, calling the stream quits relatively soon. I know you've been going for a long, longer than an hour stint. Um, what else have you got? The idea of a cricket ball hitting there actually made me wheeze and go out loud. Yeah, it wasn't fun, I can tell you that now. I think it's only happened to me twice, once with a tennis ball and once with a cricket ball. The cricket ball was a lot worse, and yet the tennis ball hit me harder, so there you go. Um, not fun. Have you ever been hit in that region, Stinky? Probably not. Because apparently it hurts just as much for women. You know, if you get smacked in that area, it doesn't tickle. Mm. Never happened to you in a sporting event? Nothing like that? I don't really play a lot of sport. Right. So, unfortunately, I can't really say much, but I know it's going to hurt. It hurts, all right. If this keeps going, I'm start making really messed up jokes about that area. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? We had a, a catch cry about that ages ago, and I can't even remember. Can't remember what it was. That was all Ethanator and um, Penguin used to laugh about that all the time. I can't even remember what I said that made them laugh. I can't even remember the term that was being used. There you go. Old Uncle Poodot's starting to lose his mind. Oh no. <laughs> now, hang on. What? Uh, scavenging. I'm already close to this thing, so... What is that? R1? R1? Select power... Not... What? I don't get it. Eh. Oh? Do you have to get closer to it? I already get close, but do I have... How close do I have to be? Have... Ah, sure. Smack it! <laughs> That's pretty close. You can't get super close close otherwise it's gonna smack so drop the thing down a little bit and see if you can do anything from there oh, drop what that rectangular thing with the circle in it you've got to what have it. that rectangle yeah like that oh it doesn't do anything scanned in mm. oh maybe you've got to get a tiny bit closer to scan it yeah because you saw that scan circle. Regal bridging shack circle. So what is this one? Oh. Oh. Nope. It, it's too far away. How can I get closer? <laughs> you go the reverse of that. What have you did before? Uh, how? Well, I don't know what you did before. Uh. Oh. <laughs> 
Have you seen a video where the guy crossed his legs and there's a really loud pop? That made me physically cringe. No, and I'm not sure that I'd want to. That these things make me squeak, squeamish a little bit. Oh, here come the hiccups. See, when you did that circle thing before, it was too far away for you to be able to scan it. Oh, what? You just destroyed it. Oh. You engaged the enemy sting. Huh? I don't know if that was what the plan was meant to be. Oh, you're doing stuff. Oh, there you go. And you've recovered two of the three uh, injector thingies, whatever they are. Stop! You're wrong way! Oh, you're on the Starship Enterprise, alright, there, stink. Oh. So, what are the thoughts of, of having the, the conversation today? I know that um, it's been a, a very personable. And is this something that you would like to continue from week to week rather than having specific topics? Because we didn't even... The topics that I had planned today, we didn't even talk about. Come oh, goodness. On. This way, come on. What are you trying to do? Move you're... the ship to the right direction. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not going. Come on. Oh, well, it's going, but super duper slow. It is kind of slow, but you're getting there. Do you even oh. know what the plasma injectors look like? I don't know, but I have to go over there. Yeah, you're on it anyway. Huh? I don't know, but look at that. That looks like something. I Let no me move. Let me just do it, okay? Let me just try. I think having just one topic to start and letting it go from there is the best way to go. It just makes everything feel so much more natural. Well, I agree with you, Mitch, but that's where I wonder if we struggle a bit because you know thankfully you and awesome have stuck around and kept talking to us which makes it easier but we certainly have plenty of live streams where the the live chat's not talking that much and then it becomes really hard to to do that without sort of having pre-planned topics which you know i think uh, again having spoken to uh, some people in my real life but, you know, they think it's very important to, to plan the streams out a bit, uh, which I can't disagree with either. But then it's also trying to come up with new topics every week. It's, it's a lot more stress and pressure than you would think. That, um, again, we don't... Well, we do. Uh, look at me stumbling over my words at the moment. Stinky and I have talked about this, like, should we do more gameplay type commentary, which we do do when things go really quiet and I have nothing to say. That's when we tend to talk about the actual game, uh, which is what most streamers do when they're doing gaming streaming. You know, they're, they're not talking about random stuff. There are exceptions to that, though. Like I say, the really good streamers are quite capable of talking on any number of topics but it's usually because the live chat's asking them questions that it helps them to focus in that direction. Uh, I remember on my first stream I ever joined you were talking about this radio story I think it was about some guy who got greedy or something. Uh, oh yeah that's right I remember that. Uh, the most viewed stream on this channel is King of Crabs. Yes but that's all about the clickbait thumbnail <laughs> which even that's not working for us at the moment i just did a clickbait thumbnail thinking it was going to get us the views and it didn't so um we we do you know our apologies for doing that every now and again 
but it's a way to keep the views coming in so we have to keep doing it uh, whether we like it or not um, it's not that we don't get them on the other stuff that's not clickbaity but you can see there's a massive difference uh, when you look at the top viewed videos versus the ones that might have 20 or 30,000 views on them uh, which are the more normal sort of, of thumbnails and yeah I do remember that uh, conversation that's when I was talking about the radio show Opie and Anthony which I know nothing about I, I've since found out a bit more about those two people and they they were quite controversial apparently so maybe their their time was always going to be finite um, but it was more a discussion at that time about how you had two people uh, who took very different uh, career trajectories even though they're doing the same thing post the success of their radio station the the one the the guy that was sort of more greedy that thought he deserved uh, everything his his career has really fallen apart the other guy's doing much better than he is um, but having said that the more I looked into them they don't seem to have changed that much um, and I wouldn't recommend um, you know it's I don't know some of the stuff they say is just a bit over the top but you know like I say I never never listened to their radio program when it was around so I didn't know uh, too much about them uh, yeah and that's the thing so with the the most viewed videos and so on it's I'm not too sure what to do about that yeah it's I've been thinking about it a lot lately and I just don't have answers for any of it it's there was something that I saw today about the the creator burnout which I know we've uh, or maybe not stinky so much but I've certainly gone through it a couple of times that um, you hit this this point where you're really demotivated and because things don't go well it just makes it even harder to get back on the, the horse uh, we're not giving up I will make that that clear but um, over time we kind of have to refocus uh, what we're doing but still have fun at the same time so we find the the streams fun when we're interacting um, with the people in the live chat um, but before that just to, to give you a little bit of insider stuff which I don't know if uh, either awesome or Mitch have gone through because I know they live stream as well that it can be very stressful before you stream if you're trying to plan that out you know picking the right game uh, trying to think of things that are going to be entertaining for an hour or two and doing that on a consistent basis it does become stressful to do that uh, once you get into the stream then it's just more fun and, and relaxed um, but the things that I find the least stressful is the more creative stuff like making the music um, or trying to do sort of creative videos that's one thing that's holding uh, me back personally is I don't have the video editing skills it's very basic sort of stuff that I can do um, and it's going to take a lot of I guess tutorials online or something like that to get good at editing because I have noticed there's some of the channels these days their, their editing has gone to the, the next degree it's so much better than what you would see 10 years ago but then by the same token there's a flip side argument that people say they like the more amateur stuff anyway because as Mitch has been saying it's more personable it's, it seems to be more intimate if it seems more amateur so it's kind of a hard you know it's like being stuck between a rock and a hard place uh, like I am with Stinky every day of the week so I should be used to it by now isn't that right Stinky hmm. oh one other thing I'll say about those clickbait thumbnails and so on that we do it's incredible that we get uh, punished on the one hand that the two most I think it's the two most viewed videos on our 
channel, both of them have restricted monetization on it, which according to other YouTubers says that really kills your video if, if that happens. But we've had the reverse effect of that. Even with the restricted monetization, they, they get the most amount of money each month. So go figure. It's, it's mixed signals that we get. I'd prefer not to do it, but you do, you do have to do things to maintain the consistency, both not just in uploads, but in views as well. So that's why we keep doing it on occasion. Whenever there's an opportunity to do, to do a clickbait thumbnail, I'm going to do it. Isn't it stink? Mm -hmm. With it's your approval, of course. Fun. So where are you at, Stink? You still wanting to play, or you done? Uh, let me try. You just want to get this. that last thing going. All right. So you've covered a lot of that that sort of stuff, and because it's been mainly talking about YouTube, that uh, was one of the the topics that I was wanting to cover. So I kind of hope people learnt from this. I certainly learnt a lot from the live chat, so I'm very grateful for that. And um, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see what what happens. Really, uh, don't don't give up. I guess I'm trying to tell myself, isn't it, Stink? You got nothing else to say. This is the point where you know, unless I change topics, <coughs> I start to struggle to say things. Because uh, one of the things I was going to talk about was um, some of the the technology that's out there now we, we've sort of talked about AI before but I saw a video recently where someone entered an art competition and they were using AI created art so it's not even them but you know it's meant to be a competition for actual artists like real human beings using their hands to create real art and instead, this guy got, I can't remember what the program's Incoming called. I want to say End Journey, something robot. like that. Uh, you've got a this number of, of AI shirt. programs now that you can what use where you just type in uh, prompts, like different words, and they'll create the art based on your words. And believe it or not, the AI art won. They actually won the competition. Which, no, I kind of think that's disgraceful. You know? It's Why? Because it's meant to be a, a competition for artists. That guy wasn't an artist. He was just typing words. Uh, and let the AI create the art. Uh-huh. And the AI won the competition. Uh. That's wrong, isn't it? That's that start get me on the rant about the, the people that are doing the transitioning stuff and entering... It's more going uh, a male, you know, becoming female and then entering female sports. I don't know if it would work the same way the other way around. But that's another thing where I think you, you really can't have that because the even though your physiology might change a little bit, you're still going to have a naturally bigger, stronger body. Um, that's not to say there aren't bigger, stronger females than males out there. But, you know, if you, you have... A situation where a sport is being absolutely by dominated by someone that's gone from one to the other that's not really fair on the rest of the competition and I don't know if anyone has seen some of the artwork that AI can generate as well as videos that they generate it's seriously incredible I've seen some amazing stuff in that regard and it's scary you know it's it uh, worries me that AI is probably already sentient. There, there are arguments that have suggested that that is the case now, that you have uh, a level of sentience with this artificial intelligence. And hey, to our AI bot overlords that run YouTube, um, keep up the good work. We, we want to be in your good graces because you are shaping the world there's no doubt about that. I don't think people think enough about that. That, you know, things are more and more being run by algorithms that are run by artificial intelligence. 
So if you look at it that way, the AI is shaping the world in a big, big way at the moment. And that's, that's kind of scary to think about. Or it doesn't bother you, Stinky. I can't think now. I'm playing games. <laughs> what I think is just playing games. Well, you're doing well. You're dispatching the enemy now, it looks, looks like. Jeez, that live chat's gone completely quiet now. I've just been rambling on my own for the past half an hour. Should I keep rambling about that? I think so, if you're not going to contribute either. Push, push. <laughs> you're dead already. Come on, where is it? No worries, Mitch. So Mitch is going to leave us now anyway. It's we probably getting around bedtime. Um, so thank you for contributing so much as well. Mitch, I really appreciate that. You've given some really good uh, tips and pointers too. So. Yeah, well, thank you guys. I think I'm going to finish soon yeah. too anyway. You can do it now if you want. Mm. We've been going for long enough, haven't we? Mm. All right, so have a fantastic rest of the weekend. What's your catchphrase at the end? Stupidy. <laughs> That's the best you've got. See? Like people will say, you know, I'm out or see you in the next one, but we got to do something better than that. Like what? Uh, you keep asking me, you don't make yourself. Mmm, right, stupidy. <laughs> Join the next stream or stinky will what? Huh? Breathe on you. I got nothing. It's something we're going to have to think about. You keep thinking. All right, we'll see you again next time then. All right. Uh, yeah, that's a rather weak conclusion, but we'll do it again. We're going to have long weekends next week. However, I'm still working, so it's not really a weekend. Stay stinky and we'll see you later. <laughs> I like that uh, one. That's not a good idea, is it? S stay stinky and we'll see you on the next one. Don't shower. No. Go for a watch after stream. Don't forget to wash your stink. That's what you tell me to do after every stream. Yep, don't forget to wash your stink. Sniff this. Nope. Bye. <laughs> All right, you got to stop the stream there, stink. Oh, dear. That bye. Was... Did you say bye? Oh, bye-bye. <laughs>